Hey guys, welcome back to my reviews of the Sister Wives show. This is season one, episode six. The last one before the big wedding. The big wedding, by the way, I'm gonna do live tomorrow, July 7th at 11 a.m. for my subscribers. So if you wanna become a subscriber here on TikTok, I have three levels, Telestial, Terrestrial, or Celestial subscribers. They all come with different benefits. Uh, the number one benefit of all of them is that you get to go to Mormon heaven with me. Anyway, let's jump into this review. The quote of today's episode comes from Mary, <laughs> which is, you have no idea how much we share. Gross, Aunt Mary. <laughs> we don't want to know about what you're sharing. <laughs> I was really struck in this episode by the just the stark difference between what was sort of presented to the family and to the the community of polygamists, the AUB, when the show was first started as the purpose of the Sister Wives show, and then the reality of the show. Because when, when the show first started, I remember uh, Cody and his family kind of gathering uh, a bunch of the family and a bunch of the members of the, of the AUB together to watch a pilot that had been filmed. And it was sort of presented as an opportunity to um, present a positive image of polygamy to the world and to sort of bring polygamy out of the, you know, uh, out of the sort of the underground and into the light and to show that we're just really great people too. And it is wild to me how much it doesn't do that. Like, I think immediately you all knew as soon as you saw this uh, season, you were all like, this is super dysfunctional. What the hell is happening? And honestly, this was in this episode, I, I started to feel a little embarrassed <laughs> of of certain ways that uh, some of the family members were behaving, especially uh, Cody at the f fucking food tasting when he's dancing around like an idiot. Um, that was hard to watch. Even my son who was watching it with me, he piped up and he's like, I'm embarrassed to be related to that dude. And I was like, you don't even know, dude. People on TikTok say I look like him. And I think it speaks to the just the narcissism and lack of self-awareness that's in Mormon polygamous culture that we would think that if someone filmed us <laughs> doing our thing and we showed it to the world, that everyone would be like, oh my God, what a beautiful thing that they've created, rather than seeing it for what it is, which is a very toxic and dysfunctional family system. In this episode, I also felt super bad for all of the poor wedding professionals that just got roped into something super awkward and weird. The cake lady looked so uncomfortable the whole time. The, people, the lady at the dress place, the reception lady showing him around, like it was all just very, very awkward. And while I imagine that the idea of including everyone in the reception and like planning it all together was supposed to be really fun and exciting, the reality of, reality of it was just really depressing because it just highlighted the unfairness of the system. Like Christine's just barely had a baby and she's desperate for some attention, but she's getting dragged around to help Robin try on dresses and taste cake and go look at an awesome reception venue when she got like a family dinner. The planning is full of all kinds of weird power dynamics like forcing the other wives into these ugly brown dresses and they're like not bridesmaids, they're advisors, like what? It's so unfair, no wonder, no wonder all the wives are pissed. Like they're getting all of this new attention is being lavished on this new wife. And it's not like what they got, but you know that they're just internalizing that and telling themselves, no, this is part of the purification process. This is making me more celestial because that's what the system has told them to do. Also, it was wild to see Robin walking around in like sh arm showing dresses. Like she shouldn't be doing that. She should be wearing garments that cover her all the way down to her wrists. So I don't know what was up with that. Also, side note, Robin cries a lot. Like that could be a drinking game. Take a drink every time Robin cries. I'd probably get wasted. And then there's that weird thing at the end where like they spent all this time picking out a dress and then Cody picks it. Like what was even the point of that outing other than to make the other wives feel bad? When Christine confronts Cody directly about this and is like, well, then why didn't you pick out my dress? That highlights the core of the conflict. And it illustrates why love actually is divided, not multiplied. Because love is time and attention, and you can't 
multiply time and attention. You can only divide it because it's finite. It's a finite resource. And so if you have four wives and 18 children, you're dividing your love amongst them. And you're obviously going to do it in a way that's unfair because you're going to prefer certain people because that's how humans are. We like some people more than we like others. And so even if we're kind of trying to be fair, unconsciously our energy is just going to be different with different people. It just creates a lose, lose, lose scenario for everyone. The people who get less attention, they lose. The people who get more attention, they lose because they get they're, they, they get the jealousy of the people who get less. And the person trying to divide his attention also loses because he can't please anyone. And why are we doing all of this losing? For God. That's a gross system. If there is a God, that's not how he works. And then the episode wraps up with Cody saying the quiet part out loud. And he's like, look, this is a good time. He's like acknowledged that he's made a mistake. And he's like, look, this is a good time to make requests because I'm saying yes. And with that statement, he's just revealed what the real power dynamic in that family is. And what the real power dynamic in all patriarchal families is, which is dad has all the power, nobody else has power. Everyone needs to bend to the whims of that person who represents God. And you can see where all the abuse comes from. Because if you tell a fragile male psyche that he's God, he's gonna get fucked up. And then he's gonna do fucked up things. Anyway, that's my review of episode uh, six. Join me tomorrow, July 7th at 11 a.m. Mountain Time for my live watching of the finale and then the two episodes that come after that. Uh, it's for subscribers, so if you wanna subscribe, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, you can catch a, uh, you can catch like a, a review of it afterwards. Also, one of the things that's gonna be maybe fun about this is that I attended that wedding um, so I might be in the episode, I guess we'll see.